Welcome back, Chunky Wonky, to another Terraria video. In today's episode, we're probably going to be preparing for what? Devourer of Gods. By the way, this is Inferno Mode Calamity, like episode 31. Bro, I'm not sure. There's been so many episodes that I've lost I've lost track, I've lost count, but we're far. We're far. Um, yeah, we took out Poltergeist, which... Poltergast, I mean. Not Poltergeist. We took out Poltergast. And we're going to prepare for Devourer of Gods. Essentially, we need a bunch of new weapons, like the Monsoon, which I have no idea how you get. Is it like... How do you get the flare wing bow? Do we have the hell wing? This drops from... Does it not just drop from something? The hell wing bow? Okay, anyways. I guess I'll just get like a sh shadow key. I was thinking of that, but now I realize that I bombed everything. So not much for shadow keys, huh? Does that mean I need a fishing rod? I need to go fishing. I think I need to go fishing. I need this. I need a good fishing rod as well. We need a hellstone crate. However in the world we get that, I do not know. Bro, this is taking too long. I'm actually going to kill myself. I need to get a better fishing rod. This is stupid. Early bloom. Cast six lines at once. Yuli bloom and wooden fishing pole. Masturbate? Mm, I want some crate potions. Seems legit. Take that. Six lines at once, bro. Please stop giving me obsidian fish. Hellstone crate, that's all I needed. Is it that hard for you to do? Wait, can I make abyssal diving, like the cool one? The abyssal diving suit, we need luminal and depth cells. Which means we just gotta do some funky business like this. We'll never need this ever in the history of life. And look, what we can do. So you just go to the beach, the right beach. Fall faster, bro, I'm taking too much damage. Wait, I didn't take any damage. What am I coming down here for? I already forgot. Luminil. Correct. Where are mobs at? Would it be possible for us to grab the boss rush trophy thing? We'd probably get demolished them. I gotta remember not to use my rod of discord thing. Or else I will suffer great consequences. So no teleporting for me. Very bad. Damn. This eel thing is kind of tough. What? What the hell was that? What is- what is on me? Why am I frozen? The squid is pretty strong. And I craft the Helly's Inferno. Woo! Oh baby, this looks good. On real Helly's Inferno? Can I zoom like very far? Ah. Bro. Really? You're gonna mess with me right now? When I am this overpowered? You don't know who you're going up against, pal. Get out! Okay, real talk, I'm coming here. What the hell is that? What the hell? What the hell? What is that? What is that? What is that, bruv? What is that, bruv? How do I get this, by the way? The ma mauler? Mauler? Mauler. Post Moonlord, post Polter, gas, yeah, sponsor in the Acid Rain during Tier 3. Tier 3 Acid Rain. Is this what this event is? Is this Tier 3 Acid Rain? Wait, is that a bag attacking me? Wait, is that the mini boss? Was that it? The Mauler right here? I think that is the Mauler. This is going to give us some good weapon. I know you have like a 0% chance of dropping it, but it'd be nice if you dropped it for me. Did it drop it? I got the Mauler Relic. Well, that's useless. Very useless. Maybe another one will spawn. Okay, this is better. Definitely not better than the Halley's Inferno. Halley's Inferno actually carries some weight. We're getting on to the tier of godlike weapons. Where we will literally be able to one-shot. And like, rapidly one-shot. Can you please spawn your big shark thing? I need the mon... What's his name? The mauler. Does it have like a higher chance of spawning if I'm under... <gasps> it spawned! Thank you, kind sir. 
Please don't despawn. I need you. It dropped the weapon. Good! I don't really know what it does. Is it good? Is this is this the sulfuric? Is it really what it's come down to? This is the weapon we use for Devourer of Gods? Ooh, well. What has society become? Anyways, we got two cool relics. So that's cool. Didn't know many bosses actually got relics. That's neat to see. But there we go. Ooh, blood flare. And craft some leggings. And then craft the headpiece. What are we missing? Increased range damage, right? And then Terragon armor is always going to be useful. So I'll also keep it. I have no clue how we take out old Duke. Oh, and I also need to take out the acid rain. I need to finish it. Hope the rain doesn't stop. As I say that, the rain stops. What's the affliction, by the way? Aff the affliction. It's dropped from Poltergeist. Do I have it? I do. I need this. I need the Reaper Tooth Necklace. The Reaper Tooth Necklace. The Sand Shark. You need Reaper Teeth. How the hell did you get Reaper Tooth? The Reaper Shark? Mini boss that spawns in the abyss. Ah, oh, boy, oy, oy. That's gonna be a bit of a pain, isn't it? Yeah, I have some. Then we also need to get the Shadow Key, right? We need the Shadow Key. Also, how the hell do you summon an old Duke? Defeat the Acid Rain post Poltergeist or Fish? A Bloodworm in the Sulfurous Sea. Why did you spawn? I don't get why it spawned. Why? Essentially, I just need to go to the very bottom. Okay, cool. I got the Colossal Squid to spawn. Lame. I don't need the Colossal Squid. I need the freaking shark thing. Where is the Reaper teeth? Oh, here they are. Got them. Can I get the Eidolon Worm trophy? That thing does a lot of damage. I tried to teleport. I, I, I almost teleported out of its way. But then I remembered that I will summon his daddy if I do that. But we can craft the necklace. What's it called? The Reaper Tooth Necklace. Perfection. Let me reforge it to warding. How much does warding give us now? Nine? Ten defense. I wonder if Old Duke is difficult. Is Old Duke difficult? Who knows? <laughs> what the hell is that boss that was way too hard for me how the hell did you get the worm then because i'm gonna have to fight this guy a lot and i mean a lot how the how do, how do you get a blood worm just, they're just found in the sulfurous sea it's that simple they're just crawling around slowly crawling around along the floor and burying also like truffle worms so i just gotta find these worms Oh, they only spawn near the bottom of the sulfurous sea. There you are. One blood worm. Ah, oh, there's one right there. Blood worm number two. I caught it. I caught another one. Wait, want to see something funny? Hello there. But him. He just looks at you and then demolishes you. Can I make a plate? I can make a plate, right? Like plate. And then out of the blood worms, I can make, I can make the blood worm platter, right? Summons old Duke. By the way, any weapon recommendations for old Duke? Dodu's hand cannon? The handheld tank? What the hell is this? The shroomer? Oh, also, how the hell do we craft the monsoon? How many reaper tooth? <sighs> Still not enough. We need just a bit more reaper tooth thing things, and then we're done. There we go.
I must go back. I was not good enough. Come on, Reaper Shark. And we're chilling. And we're all very chilling. And now we can craft and craft the monsoon. The nimble monsoon. The unreal monsoon. Here it is. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Should we try it against the old duke? My arena is horrible though. What's the armor to unleash a poltergeist to destroy enemies effect as a 30 second cooldown? Okay, well... Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a break for now. This has been, I don't know, episode 31. I guess I'll see in the next episode where we go defeat Old Duke and then get ready for, well, the Devourer of Gods. This has been Boyo. Peace out.